until last year this had been Salah's home for most of his life when the war came we had to escape and leave our home we came back once the fighting finished here but we found everything destroyed when I first entered the house I hoped the house would be okay or there would be a bit of damage but I found my home destroyed. Bullet holes mark the walls that are still standing. Warlord Khalifa Haftar and his militia had laid siege to Tripoli for more than a year. Forces loyal to the UN-recognized government managed to push them out of the city with Turkey's backing. But the impact of the siege remains. A lot of dreams have been destroyed. A lot of ambitions gone. Rayad is the founder of the charity Brothers Stand Together. It's helping displaced people in Tripoli return home. We are now in the first stage of the process for this home, which is an assessment of the damage. Then we check how much support the family needs, and after that we provide them with construction materials. A sign on the door of the house warns those who enter to watch out for mines. A pertinent warning. Inside, the team discovers an unexploded mortar and have to call in a demining team. Well, you can see the destruction that's been caused to this house throughout the course of the conflict. Now people are working to try and make this area livable once again. But it's dangerous work. When Haftar and his fighters were pushed out of Tripoli, as they were withdrawing, they left behind improvised explosive devices and mines. And that's just one of the risks that the people who are working to make this place livable again face. The fighting may be over here in Tripoli, but the struggle to rebuild lives wrecked by the war is just starting. Sarah Firth, TRT World, Tripoli.